Hello everyone, I'm Thomas, one of the IELTS teachers here at Lango Learning System. Welcome to a special lesson that's designed to help you conquer one of the hardest skills in IELTS writing. In a lot of cases, task one in IELTS writing asks the test taker to describe a map. The map vocabulary section would help you to understand the main phrases, language and vocabulary that will be used while describing IELTS maps for writing task one. Phrases for direction. The first set of words is to learn about direction. Usually, on a given map, there will be a compass provided. Please join me in filling in the directions on this compass. OK, first we have the four main directions. North, East, South and West. We also have intervals between them. North East, North East, South East, South West northwest. In addition to describing locations based on directions, we may also have to use locations or positions on a map. The top left corner. The top. The top right hand corner. The left hand side. The middle or the center. The right hand side. The bottom left hand corner the bottom, the bottom right-hand corner. To use these phrases in sentences, I've got a couple of suggestions for you. A is to the west or to the left of B. B is to the east or to the right of A. A is in the west. A is on the left-hand side of B. All right, let's try some exercises, guys. How do you describe the position of B here? That's right, B is in the southeast, or B is in the bottom right hand corner. OK, try this one. B is in the south, or in the bottom. B is at the bottom, or to the bottom of A. OK, these are some basic positions. Now we can move to other ways to describe position at a slightly more higher level. Or we could say B's or B surrounds A. Here, A is roughly in the center. C is exactly in the middle. And we can use of B because B is the large area of the outside. What about here? B is between A and C. However, the distance between B and A and B and C is equal. Therefore, we could also say B is halfway or midway between A and C. OK, let's try a more intriguing one. We could use some mathematical terms here. A is at a right angle to B or A is perpendicular to B. What about A and C? A is parallel to C. Sometimes in a map writing task one question, you might see this kind of arrangement. Some words we could use here are B is in close proximity to A or that B is a long distance from C. Phrases to describe change. Usually the problem will give you two maps which depict a change over time in an area or one could be a plan and the other is the reality. They will describe a change. You'll definitely have to use phrases to describe change to look at differences or transformation here. Four types of common elements in this question are buildings, trees or forests, roads, streets, bridges and railways, infrastructure or other facilities. To describe a change to buildings, we could use the following terms. We could say be demolished, be knocked down, be flattened or to disappear to be extended or expanded, to become larger or smaller, and to be reduced in size, to be built, contracted or erected, to be converted or to be transformed into something, to be replaced, to be renovated, reconstructed or modernised, to be moved, to be relocated somewhere. To describe changes to trees and forests, we can say to be cut down or chopped down, to be cleared or moved 
in order to do something or to be planted. To describe changes to infrastructure, well, they're very similar to buildings. We can say built, contracted or erected. We can say to be extended, expanded or widened or to be reopened or renovated. And finally, for other facilities, we can have to be opened up, to be set up, to be established, to be developed, or again, to be expanded. I hope you found this lesson helpful in preparing you for your IELTS exam. If you want to register for IELTS courses here at Lango, you know what to do. Our courses are designed with you in mind and will definitely help you improve your outcomes. Remember to like, share, and hit that like button to get notifications. Once again, I've been Thomas, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye, guys.